Hello everyone, this is Diane. Thank you for coming to my channel today. Today is a treat. We get to go on a picnic. We're going to look through these two journals that are themed with a summer picnic theme. And I used a uh, digital kit by Paper Cameo called Summer Picnic. There are lots of other pages as well and uh, some digital or some, um, sorry, some um, vintage items throughout the book. So let's take a look and see what we have. They will both be tied with this eyelet, this wide eyelet um, lace. I just didn't tie it around this one yet. So let's look at this one first. I created them with vintage tablecloth and I have a video on how I did the, the cover. There are two videos for the cover. One where I did the collaging of the fabrics and one where I Put it all together with the spine and the end papers. So you can just go back uh, and find those videos and you can see how I put this cover together. Uh, the cover itself is made with, I already put them away so I can't show you, but it's one of those thick vintage um, file dividers. So it's very thick chipboard kind of fabric or material. And then the spine is a um, hanging file folder piece so it's flexible. You can see how it's dented in as I lay it on its belly. Um, so these are the vintage fabric uh, tablecloth pieces and then just various fabrics that match the colors and little bits of doily and trim to help accent it. I did stitch around the outside. I didn't stitch here on the cover itself just around the edge. And I added some vintage rickrack. You can see that I added an eyelet here and I tied some wax threads through it and strung some beads to help make it a fun picnic day. Oh, I got this out so I could measure it. It's six and a quarter by nine. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper, and that's a label from Summer's Bounty, and I don't know the name of the Etsy seller, but it's Summer's Bounty. If you Google that, you'll find it, or not Google it, but look for it on Etsy, and there are several kits that all go to the Summer's Bounty. So one of the kits is just labels, and, and including labels with pictures. Oh, sorry. And, sorry about that. There's, uh, in addition to the digital papers, I used a set of papers from Antique Papery, um, scrapbooking papers, and it's called Cheerful. And I received those papers in a happy mail from Jeannie. So thank you very, very much, Jeannie. It was fun to get to use them. It included double-sided papers and some stickers and little punch-out die-cut pieces. So I included a lot of those. Um, I added this vintage crochet trim and I did add a charm on the front of each signature. This one is a vintage earring. It's a little plastic heart with a piece of lace and some acetate. I think it's acetate. Yeah, I think there's acetate back there behind the lace. I used a piece of vintage ledger and a vintage soda label. I can't imagine drinking dandelion and burdock soda, but I thought that went well with a picnic theme. This is one of the digital pages, and I just love the basket look. And you'll see um, a lot of basket weave pockets. So that's the reason I loved this digital kit. And they're pretty. All the pages are pretty, but the basket weave is what convinced me to buy it. And there's a little leather patch on there. It looks like leather. I did some stenciling on the back of the digital pages and added a lot of these elements that you'll see are actually part of the authentic paper. This is wallpaper, kind of looks like wood, so it could be the top of your picnic table. And I added a pocket and one of the cards from the paper pad 
It's, it's from the Authentique paper pad. And this is from a vintage magazine, and it was about picnics. And I believe this is one that came from Sarah. She sent me some picnic-themed uh, vintage pieces. So thank you, Sarah, because I used, I think, all of your pieces in the two journals. So one, the other side of the page, the opposite page, said um, it tastes better it tastes better outdoors. It tastes better outdoors. So anyway, there's a picnic table with all the food and I backed it with dyed paper that you can write on. I covered up the printing on the back of the wallpaper with this fabric that Sarah gave me with the ants and the picnic food. I let in rickrack there and this is one of the digitals, uh, a tags from the digital kit. Sarah sent me this children's book illustration with the children having a picnic and I had one of those pages that I had already put into my picnic stash so I was able to use that page in both journals. Uh, this other page was it's a fun poem but it was gloomy a gloomy page because it was about wind and rain so I covered that up we don't want wind and rain in our picnic so I covered it up with some little scraps and a digital of Maryland Pie Bakery and a quote, some text from a children's book where the family was on a picnic and you'll see some of those images. See my hamburger. This is a good hamburger. You may have one. Look, Daddy, here comes Mark. Mark wants a hamburger. This is a post-a-note or fold-a-note with an image of a little girl having a picnic, you'll see on the other side, and there's her basket and her um, doll and teddy bear that joined her on her picnic. Another vintage ledger. I stamped some fruit on these cards. So there's some blackberries. This is a shelf liner, so maybe you're having a picnic near a pond, and there are some water lilies there. I reinforced that with paper. I added a shopping list so you can make a list of the things you need to take to your picnic. And I had dyed this doily blue and I mod podged a napkin with some birds onto it. This is part of the digital kit with the days of the week so you can just use those spots for journaling. Did some more stenciling and then I stamped some corners that kind of look like tablecloth corner pieces. Here's that children's book with the, ch the family having a picnic. They're unloading the car, taking everything to the picnic table. And I put a little ca cut off strip of the authentic paper on this edge. And one of the authentic papers has little tiny ants on it. So I took a scrap of that and made a tab. This page from Authentique has a, a poem about going on a picnic and did you bring the lemonade, etc. This is part of the Authentique punch outs or stickers. And here's another of the basket weave um, pieces from the digital. It's a pocket. I cut this out of a Daphne's Diary planner. There's a postcard, the little girl and her pets fishing and a card from, a flash card with watermelon on it from Sarah. I just added a uh, list paper here for writing. It says, hello life. And I made a fabric ruffle and I added a piece of the lace that I just got at the flea market or the, the sale that I go to that's very flea market like. This is a stamp that's part of the punch out papers with some fabric behind it. A cut off piece of the authentic paper forms a pocket as well as a card here. And there's the ant paper. And I put some graph paper there for writing. And this is a vintage receipt from Earl S. Johnson Wholesale Fruit and Produce. So they probably came here to um, get some of their produce that they would need for their picnic. There's the little girl bringing her mom down to the pond or the lake. I think they're calling it a lake. Mm 
Here's that fold a note with a little girl and her doll having a party, tea party, picnic. Here's the back side of that book again, the book page with the gloomy page, and I added some paper to write on as well as one of the authentic cards, cut, cut out cards, and a piece of violet. And the back of the wallpaper, where the writing was, I covered up with more places to write. This is another piece of wallpaper. It was a wallpaper border sample. And I thought it looked like a napkin in a napkin ring. And I just tucked this page from that children's reader in here for you to take words or pictures. I wouldn't want to cut it because it's got what you want on both sides. So I would just leave it in there. You could tuck something else in there that you could write on. But it's up to you what you do. I stamped this jar of um, wild wild uh, flowers or leaves or grasses. And I stamped the word delight. It's the back of that wicker basket page. I used some die cuts that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance. I had two sets of die cut images and I just took some, I think I just used mostly words out of those. So this says life is lovely. This is the authentic paper but you can write on this side. And it's a basket on that side. This is a pocket from the digital kit. With you every day is a picnic. And I found some old photographs that I could include and this one is actually a family sitting down at a picnic on the grass. Some of them are just outdoor picnic, outdoor pictures that might be activities that were being done at a picnic event. Second signature has a pink wicker pocket. It says life is a picnic. I glued that on there. Love this bright paper. Some of the tags were printed on cardstock and some were printed on my nice paper, so the paper ones I glued to, um, to some dyed paper. Here's another piece of vintage lace, and the little charm on this is just this little bead. There's a list paper you can write on, and it says, I stamped, find joy in the little things. There's a cherry aid. That sounds much more appetizing than dandelion and burdock. Um, burdock. Here is another wallpaper border and it's a bow and I liked that for the picnic. Uh, this was part of the authentic paper, the punch outs, and I punched this basket weave pattern out of, out of a scrap and I made that a stopper for my tag. And I made this on a video I think. Did I? I don't remember now. I didn't do very many videos for these journals. There's another piece of that fabric and it's on the back of the wallpaper and I had more text up here to cover. So I just glued some things down. There's an envelope. The only thing I did to it was add this sticker. It's actually three stickers, but they were lined up together. And then you can put what you want in there, decorate it some more if you want to. Love this paper from the digitals. Looks like ticking and denim and some jute trim back there with this beautiful frame. This is from a vintage cookbook and this was also from, I think it was a cookbook. It had picnic menus and recipes. It was from Sarah. There's another fold a note with some daisies and wildflowers. And I stamped peaches on that. Cherry, um, gift wrap paper, just an index card. This is a Mod Podge napkin on a doily. This is another page from uh, picnic menus and recipes and a tab. More pockets from the digital kit. I love the blue wicker and then the pretty elegant. So I mixed all of this elegant that came with the summer picnic kit from uh, Paper Cameo. It's called Summer Picnic. 
I mix that with the whimsy of some of these other things like the ants at a picnic. I think everything goes well together. You always bring the sun. I love this piece of fabric and I made a ruffle out of it and added these vintage flower trim pieces. And here I used Mod Podge to adhere some dried flowers. Some flowers they may have picked while they were on the picnic. This was just in my stash and I thought it went well so I included it. Something I had already made. Here's a stamp that says make a wish with a dandelion blowing away. This picnic is on a boat. I would love that. Some more things to write on on the back of the wallpaper. There's space here you can write on. And another piece of text from a children's book. This is a really old one. It says, the pear is for Fanny. Has Dan an apple or a pear? Dan has an apple. More wallpaper here. And I just included this little page with the girl and her toy monkey eating outside. The back is just part of Aesop's fable, the fox and the grapes. But I liked that picture. Let's put the monkey peeking out. And this was another piece that was already in my stash. And I liked those colors with it, with the kit. And this is a cutoff piece that I had, and I added this piece of ephemera and this little sticker with an ant on it that came with the paper pad that I had. This paper clip is just holding these sheets down, just a couple of sheets to write on. You can put a photograph or something down there. I just didn't want these flopping around. And then the last signature. Each signature has one of these fabric pieces somewhere. And this one has a little vintage bingo marker. And I punched a hole in it. Love this vintage lace here. I'm going to run out of it pretty soon because I use it a lot. There's the ants. And this drink is limeade. I think out of these three, I would choose the cherry aid. This is wallpaper. It looks like it has wildflowers on it. And I had to sew down this CD holder. I thought I could, I glued it down and then it, it wouldn't stay glued because it's plastic. So I just sewed it down. So you can see the stitching through the wallpaper. And inside I tucked a guest check and a vintage lemon lime beverage so, uh, label and a vintage tomato seed label or seed packet. Because tomatoes are often taken on picnics, whether in salads or sandwiches or just on the plate. This is a pretty collage page from that digital kit. Here is a page from a um, cookbook. This was from Sarah also. Pasta salad, often taken on picnics. I stenciled a doily and looks like a woven cloth or burlap or something. And a fruit compote on the back. <laughs> Sorry, my wallpaper pieces are just moving all over. Um, stationary piece with a quilt border because we often will sit on a quilt at a picnic. This says, enjoy your life. Got some cherries on this shelf liner. Another doily with a bird. And I use an Italian dressing vintage image from a magazine as a paper clip and clipped her on. She is sitting on the fender of an old car and um, she's drinking sodas. <laughs> And, I'm sorry, my son is texting me and he needs an answer, but I'm, he's going to wait till I'm done with this video. Strawberry paper here is part of the authentic paper, and these two pieces are. This says, the perfect ingredients for a day together, and this says, you are very special. 
and another berry uh, basket weave pocket. There's a recipe for some salads, a cucumber seed packet, and a library card, but it's paper. Here's an envelope that came with a digital kit. There's just a uh, green ledger card in there and a recipe card with carrots on it. There's another fabric ruffle with some flowers. And a tag that I made. I had to make some quick tags to stick in pockets. So this is a vintage tag with the metal grommet here. And I just did a little collage. And this is from the kit, the authentic paper. Think happy, be happy. Um, this is a vintage ad from a magazine. I think I found this one. I don't think that's from Sarah. But it's for foil. Maybe Sarah sent this to me. I don't remember, Sarah. I'm sorry. But anyway, it's perfect for this. They're on a picnic. And there's another quick tag that I made. Stamped a pair on it. Washi tape. And then another pocket with the pretty carnations. I backed this list paper on coffee dyed paper and added a guest check. I get that in there. And then I did a library pocket. This is a vintage library pocket, but it, but it was unused. It had not been placed into a book. And I just added some decorations to it. This was from Sarah. It came out of a Bobsy Twins book. It's a picnic basket. And it says a country picnic. Let me send a quick message to my son and then we are going to go through this. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know how to edit photo, uh, digital. I don't, apparently I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to edit videos, so. Now this one, I forgot to put the eyelet on there before I sewed the signatures in, and I can't put it in while they're in there. So I attached my beads to a bull clip and just clipped it on there, so that's easily removed. I'm gonna take it off as we flip through. It's very similar. The pieces, the flowers that I used are different. The fabrics are different and arranged differently, but it looks very, very similar. They don't really have a name. Um, I'll, call, I'll just call this one number one, the first one we looked at. And I got my bead things tangled. Because I've, um, well, I'm gonna put them in separate listings. So I don't need to give them a name. They're just picnic journals. Okay, so on the inside, same same papers, same digitals being used. Um, this one has a little metal yellow flower, a blue bead, and a, a red bingo charm. Orange crush there. This one has a recipe card for a um, hoagie sandwich. That's the kind of sandwich you might take on a picnic. This one has Sea Island dressing. I wonder if that's like Thousand Island dressing. Yes, a delicious Thousand Island type dressing, it says on the fine print. That's a vintage magazine image. Here we have a journaling card, got something, something stuck on it, and a watermelon flash card again from Sarah. This 
This one has dandelion and burdick tucked in there. And this one of these should have been in the other journal. So if there's two of them in here, I'm going to take it out, take one out and put it in the other one. It's, it's got real seeds in it, but it's old. So I don't know if they're any good anymore. But I thought I would just tuck it in there because it's bee feed flower mix. So like kind of wildflowers, I guess. Like picnic, what you'd see at a picnic. Here's the other part that, of the page that said it tastes better outdoors. Looks like a beach picnic. Happy day. Little pocket here with a man drawing or writing outside. Children having a picnic. I have some sheets of quotes and words, stickers that I pulled out because I don't usually use them, but I remembered them, so I got them out. And this one says memories, which I thought was great. This is wallpaper. This is an envelope, vintage envelope. I guess it's supposed to be sealed that way. I don't know why it's open. Probably I wanted to um, sew it in a signature one time and didn't do it. I didn't even realize that it was open when I stuck it in here. So let's close it up. I could leave it open for you to journal on. But we'll close it and you can tuck things inside it. a lot of the same things. This one didn't have a flavor. It's just a she soda. I've never heard of she soda. Burton Latimer She Products Company Limited doesn't say where it's located. I've seen a lot of those labels in junk journals and in Etsy shops. I bought those from an Etsy shop. Yep, there's the other one. So I'm going to put that in the other journal. I'll have to find something else to put in here. I have guest checks right in front of me. Put guest check and a photo. About that. This is an indoor food tray, but here we have picnic food. This image is from the children's book, and this is the text that was on this page. It says, here I come, Daddy. You have one basket. I have one basket. They're, they're getting in the car to go home now. May I ride with you? May I, Daddy? May I? Mother can ride with Janet. He wants Mother to sit in the back seat with Janet. Of course, Daddy lets him picnic. Uh, that's just a cut off piece. And I used a scrap of linen, a piece of linen to add there. These are two wallpaper pieces and just I just tucked this magazine page in here. And this from one of the 1950s Woman's Day magazines that I recently got. Sunshine Fruit Salad Bowl. That's that. This one says calico tomato whirl sandwich, or salad. <laughs> it's got macaroni and corn and then the tomato whirl and lettuce. There's some more salads. And this little cluster was in my stash with a bunny and some daisies. And I liked the color, so I added that little stamp ant sticker there. 
And then this came out of a vintage magazine with hamburgers and hot dogs and a jar of mustard. I wish that this jar, this handle, this spoon or whatever wasn't stuck in there. I would have cut that off, but then you can see that piece in there. So I left it there. Hopefully it'll be safe. It won't get damaged. This is just, it looks like a, a doily or a placemat or something. thought you could write on that. And another magazine image of a family having a picnic with a dog looking on. And the last signature. This one is the green wildflowers. The other book had blue. And in here we have the same lemon lime label and a guest check. And this one has a watermelon vintage seed packet. This is a calendar page of an old-fashioned picnic. And on the, this side of the calendar, I glued a page from that vintage magazine, Picnic Salads, and a little spot to journal on there. This doily was a square doily, and I did, it's a different type of napkin. And I did have problems with it. This side looks pretty good. The other side, um, you'll see when we get there. And I did put some reinforcement there, paper. I made a paper clip with a picnic basket there, and here's a lady sitting on a canoe. Another seed packet for cucumbers. This is a pink basket. And this is a piece out of a magazine. You can cut those apart and use them to make embellishments, different types of picnics with their menus. That's a Tim Holtz ephemera piece. Looks like a wildflower or a weed. Have the same cards in there. The recipe card actually has cherries on it instead of carrots. Here's the other side of the napkin, and I ended up having to cut off the doily, the doily edge that was sticking out because it was just tearing. The napkin didn't quite cover the whole thing, so if it got Mod Podge on it without the napkin on it, the doily just fell apart. So it looks like it's kind of fallen apart here, but the napkin is holding it all together, so it's okay. You might be able to write on that. I'm hoping you can. I didn't try. On this side of the calendar, I just made a little pocket and put a card in there. And this fun little pocket I made with an image from the children's book. This frame came with the digital, or not digital, the ephemera set that I bought at Hobby Lobby, but it was a longer frame. So I trimmed it to fit and then took a piece that I cut off and cut it to fit into there to make it the size I needed. And I think it looks really cute. Here we have a photo with some girls at the lake. And I guess check that out that a little bit. And then a library pocket on the back. The same image from the Bobsy Twins book in a different color. And there we go. Two summer picnic journals in my shop. I'm just going to put them in when, when the video goes up. The journals will be already in the shop. So you can just go to the shop when you see the video and see if they're still there. Thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you in the next video. I had fun making these journals. I'm sure I'll have fun making the next journals, whatever they are. I think I know what they're going to be. So I'll see you then.
Have a creative day. Bye-bye.